above all other gods. Tonight we lay our crowns and worship Him. Lift your voice and sing tonight. Say, Oh, let Him hear your voice. Come on. Glory be to God. Welcome to the moment of refreshing. This is Samway 
and it absolutely gladdens my heart to uh, be with you today you know i'm super excited because of what the lord has in store for us today this is the day that the lord had made we will rejoice and be glad in it what a blessing the lord has been pouring upon us in the last few days as we gather together to pray and to uh, talk to god about our goals they are coming in from all over the world. People are just sending in their goals uh, from all over the world. It's amazing what people are believing God from, from Kaduna State. Okwemi is trusting God for a completion of an MSc program in 2024. Um, all the way from South Africa, Grace is trusting God from the Guateng region, trusting God for uh, business uh, in the area of uh, uh, lim, lim tech companies to begin to receive projects and trading in jobs and um, you know we have quite a number of people reaching out to us from different parts of the world with their requests from nairobi kenya from the united kingdom maureen is trusting god for a job in the united kingdom maureen we are trusting god with you and everyone believing god for a job we are asking in the name of jesus that the lord will grant you the job you so desire and even exceed your expectations in the name of jesus christ everyone trusting god uh, for a job um, all the way in kenya simon is trusting god to start trading and move business to five million dollar ton uh, over mark this year simon we join faith with you in the name of jesus christ and decree that the lord will grant you the turnover that you so desire you will buy you will build and commission a high-tech factory this year in the name of jesus from all over the world south africa from lagos nigeria from germany deborah is asking uh, that God will intervene. She's sending us a message all the way from uh, Baltrop or so in Germany, asking that the Lord God Almighty to bless her children, prosper her business, and the rest of that. Listen, there are so many of this request, and we are just going to be praying over them in the name of Jesus. You know why? This is your year to flourish. This is your year of flourishing. This is your year of thriving. You're going to be thriving supernaturally this year in the name of Jesus Christ. The Almighty God is said to cause you to thrive like never before. This is the year in which you will bloom. You will blossom in the midst of scarcity. I like you to type that. I will flourish. I will blossom in the midst of scarcity. Go ahead and declare that over yourself. I will flourish. I will blossom in the midst of scarcity. That is the anointed and the grace and the blessing that God is putting upon us who love him this year. That is what God is committed to doing in our lives this year because we love him. This is the season for the beloved of the Lord to flourish everyone who has questioned uh who is your god where, where is your god and uh, what is the reward of serving god well they should get ready for a big one this year because god is about to put his lovers on display did you hear what i just said right now god is about to put his own lovers on display this year god is about to showcase his beloved God is about to tell the world, go and see my beloved Joe. God is about to tell the world to go and see my beloved Joseph. See, see the one that I love. God is about to put a Daniel on display this year. God is about to put an Esther on display this year. God is about to tell the world around you to see what he is doing in and through your life. Oh, I see somebody typing, Father, put me on display. That, that's, that's God for you. That's God for you. I tell you, God is going to put his beloved on display. Permit me to put it prophetically for you. This is a year for the display of the bride. God wants to showcase, Jesus wants to showcase his bride. 
And this is not just about this year. As the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ draws closer, the Lord Jesus will begin to manifest the glory of his bride, the church. The church is not going to be raptured as a weak church. The church is not going to be raptured in shame. No, no, no. Just before Israel left Egypt, the glorious state of Israel emerged in Egypt. Israel left Egypt strong. Even so, the church of Jesus is not living here weak. Jesus is about to put you and I on display. The world is about to come to us and ask us a question. What is your secret in your office? People are going to start wondering, how are you getting it done? Are, are you doing some charms, some juju, some voodoo? And then you'll be able to tell them, I am the beloved of the Lord. I am the bride of the Lord. I love the Lord and the Lord is putting me on display. Oh, yes, Lord. I see your prayer. Somebody say, my father put me on display. God is about to advertise his own this year. Starting from this year, God is about to start advertising his own. The Bible says the house of the Lord is about to be put on the top of the mountains so that nations can come and say, show us the way of the Lord. Someone said, am I the house of the Lord? Oh, have you forgotten? The Bible says you are now the temple of the Lord. And God is about to put you on display. Your children will be on display everywhere they go. In their school, people were like, these kids are exceptional. Where they work, people will say, your children are exceptional. Your business will be exceptional. Your projects will be exceptional. There's a PhD student looking at me right now. There's a master's student looking at me right now. Your PhD a thesis, your work will be exceptional. Your project will be exceptional. This is your year to flourish. You better invite your family members and friends right now. Please go ahead and do that. Let them know that this is going to be... You, you know how wonderful this event has been. Now, you don't want anybody to lose out from the beginning. I, I don't want anybody to miss out from the beginning. So get your family members and friends uh, and friends to join us. Call your colleague and anybody you care about. Family members in Europe, in UK, those who are waking up in Canada, in the US now, tell them, sweetheart, you need to join us. Moment of refreshing is on now. Start your day with something productive. God bless you as you share. Oh, I see someone saying, Lord, advertise me. That, that brings glory to God. Nothing brings glory to God like advertising you. Have you, have you seen my servant Job? It was God bragging on Job. Have you seen my servant Job? That's God bragging with Job. And God will call his David his friend. Abraham his friend. God has a way of just, just advertising his own. And this is the year in which you will flourish. Oh yes. Psalm 92 tells us that this is the year in which you will flourish. You will bloom in the midst of scarcity. This year, you will prosper in the times of hardship. When they are saying there's a casting down, that will not be your language. There is a grace, there is a favor for exception upon your life. The favor of God is upon you to exclude you from the general language of a downward trend. No, no, no. You are excluded from the negative trend or trends that will be prevailing in society this time around. You are excluded as I'm speaking 
and you are connected to this grace by faith, you are excluded from the negative downward spiral that many will be experiencing this year. Oh, Reverend Sam, is this a prophecy of doom? No, 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 no. In Isaiah chapter 61, the Bible says, darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness will cover the people. But in the midst of it, the Lord will arise upon you and his glory will be seen on you. Isn't that amazing to realize that whilst darkness will be covering the earth and gross darkness will be covering the people, the Lord himself will arise upon you. You will be the Goshen when others are going through their dark moments and when many are going through the downward spiral, they will run to you, not just to you, but to the God you have to offer them. Oh, hallelujah. Let me say this again. This is your season to flourish. Abraham prospered in the time of famine. It was in the midst of famine that God blessed Abraham. It was in the midst of famine that God blessed Isaac like never before. So much so that he was so blessed that the entire nation said, look, you know what? We envy you. God put Isaac on display. It was in the midst of famine that Joseph's wisdom found a place of glorification in Egypt. And nations came to buy bread, came, came to buy grain from Joseph. Who was there managing the economy of e Egypt. It was in the midst of famine. Glory be to God Almighty. It was in the midst of famine that God, God glorifies his own. I, I hear the Lord saying, I will glorify you. I hear the Lord saying, now that it seems almost difficult, it seems impossible. I hear the Lord said, my glory is coming upon you. And I hear the Lord saying, I shall tell you, yea, it is in this season that I will begin to lift up your head in that strange place, in the strange place time that you find yourself in for in this hour that it may be clear to all that i the lord have done this even in this hour when many are saying it is literally impossible that cannot be done you can't get it now in fact did i not hear some of them saying when it was easy you did not get it how can you get it now that is hard yet the lord is saying i shall tell you that it is in this moment when everything looks complicated when everything looks not easy it is in this moment say the lord that i will cause it to come to you with ease you will get it with ease you will accomplish it with ease you will build it with ease you will finish it with ease you will travel with ease for thus yet the spirit of a living god the grace for ease is a upon you in this season for i am the god who is at work in you both to will and to do of my pleasure saith the spirit of a living god that you may glorify me through my workings in your life in this season saith the spirit of a living god all things will begin to line up all things will begin to fall in place did i not tell you that i will cause the lines to fall onto you in please and places this is that moment in which i will begin to cause things to fall onto you in please and places saith the spirit of a living god if you receive it just type i receive it oh glory be to god almighty oh that's the reason why you need to always join early you never can tell when god will bring you a word you never can tell glory be to god almighty Father, we give it a praise. Father, we give it a praise. Oh, hallelujah. I'm hearing the name Rosalind. 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 And God has a sense of humor. And the Lord said, was it by chance that you have a rose in the midst of your name? 
And, and the Lord is saying to me and, and showing me a picture of a rose growing out of a murdy situation. Yes, I can tell you as I mentioned your name, what, what just came metaphorically, prophetically, what just came to me is a picture of a rose flower uh, out of a murdy environment. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, Rosalind, am I not going to treat you like I treat the rose? Will I not bring you out exceptionally, exclusively, out of a trying environment, out of a dark environment? environment out of a struggling environment out of a bloodline that struggles rose is my hand not upon your life to lift you up in this season will i not do better with you than i have done with a rose flower that will fade away over time you are my precious possession rose for in this season say the spirit of a living god i will cause you to blossom i will cause you to thrive in the midst of trying situation from a place where many don't rise you will rise from a family where many don't go so far you will go very far from an environment where many don't break barriers you will be a barrier breaker is the is the grace for a rose not upon you in the midst of the thorns yes you will blow up in the midst of thorns yes you will yet find your beauty for in this hour, saith the Lord, my hand is upon your life to cause you to rise like a lily out of the mud. You will blossom like a rose in the midst of thorns. You will blossom, saith the Spirit of the living God. Your name is Rose, and the Lord said, Your season has come. Glory be to God. If you have a sister who is a rose, you just want to quickly send that, take that video, send it to her right now because God is about to speak to someone in connection with that name someone is watching me right now i don't know who you are but you're a ceo and, and i see that your company has to do with sales of products sales of products i don't know what kind of products they are it means that there are more than two or three ceos here if you are one of the ones that the lord is about to speak to right now you will just simply type i am that ceo and the lord is saying to me i can see like your store and you have lots of products lots of products and these products need to get to the market they need to be sold they need to be bought you've got products products i can just see like i can see like a warehouse of products i can see like products in containers and, and this product needs to get out it's like your money is being tied down in those containers they need to move out and, and the lord is about to open up some kind of uh, i see an international organization placing demands for the products uh, and i see it has to do with even selling some of your products to idps uh, an international organization is going to buy your products and they will send them to idps yeah yeah they, they're going to take them to idps yes i, I see that happening I see a sudden surge, a sudden demand for your product. Something is about to happen. God is about to orchestrate a situation that will suddenly place a demand, a cost of people to place demand for your product. Get ready for massive sale within a short time. Massive sales within a short time. I, I don't know who that CEO is. Oh my goodness. I can see lots of you saying, I'm that CEO. Whitney, I pray for you. It is done in the name of Jesus. Edith said, I'm the one. I so can said, I'm the one. One. Valentina said I'm the one. Oh my goodness Rebecca God just remind remembered you and, the, and you're saying I'm the one Reverend Sam and the Lord is reaching out to you right now in the name of Jesus I pray for you your products go into the market I see pinky the Lord said your products are going forth the spirit of God is going to create a situation a demand a sudden demand and the Lord said that those pre these products are going out I see Aram I see Georgia saying I'm that see Lean said I'm that CEO. Joseph said that I'm that CEO. In the name of Jesus, Michelle said I'm that one. I pray for every CEO saying I'm the one. In the name of Jesus, we decree supernatural manipulation of the market in your advantage. There will be a sudden demand for that which is your product. God knows how to shift consumer taste god knows how to shift the market in such a way that consumer taste even if it's for a day con consumer taste moves in your direction it happened in the covid era whereby suddenly consumer taste shifted in certain directions and people were enjoying maximum sales in certain sectors 
Every CEO watching me, I decree and declare, this is your season to blossom. This is your season of advancement. Place your right hand, place it on yourself right now. Every CEO watching me, I decree you will thrive. Every CEO watching me, I decree you will thrive. Your, your, your enterprise will thrive. You will advance irresistibly in the name of jesus i see someone in the healthcare business and the lord is saying i'm going to cause a huge demand there is someone who is involved in tax uh, your business has to do with tax and the lord said i'm causing a surge you're about to you're about to have it big like you've never had it before you are involved in tax i don't know what kind of tax it is but the lord is saying to me you are involved in tax and the lord said it's going to come big there's someone involved in the food and beverage industry there's what someone actually involved in in the sale of raw food products and the lord is saying i'm causing a demand and the Lord said, I will prosper you exponentially. I'm hearing the word exponentially. I'm hearing there's going to be a, an exponential increase coming in your direction. In the name of Jesus, CEOs watching right now. Exponential increase. Uh, there's someone involving uh, lands. You're into real estate. And either you sell lands, you sell houses and stuff like that. Someone involving interior. And I'm hearing within the next 90 days, I'm about to give you the kind of bread you've never had at the beginning of a year i'm going to say that again the lord said i'm giving you the kind of break you've never had in the beginning of any year any year you're watching me right now when you're the real estate sector and the lord is saying i'm giving you the kind of break you've never had in the beginning of the year within the next 90 days that grace is upon you right now in the name of jesus glory be to god glory be to god almighty oh you will grow vigorously there's a woman watching me right now i don't know who you are but you have a ministry to women a ministry to women god has given you a big passion a great burden for women young women old women just basically young girls god has given you a ministry to women and, and all of a sudden i just saw an explosion i saw an explosion and i just saw like like little flowers just just coming out of of a particular encasement and i'm asking the lord what is this explosion all about and what are these flowers what are they all about i just can count the flowers I, from a little encasement i just saw an explosion and i saw multiple flowers just coming out and i'm asking the lord what is this and the lord is saying there's a woman watching me and if you are close to that woman please a uh, link up with that woman share with her this video the lord said you've been faithful to your assignment to women to women you've been faithful in your assignment to women and the lord said i should tell you uh, although the ministry looks like a little encasement for now the ministry is not uh, big yet uh, but the lord is saying i should tell you that there is coming a sudden explosion for in this season say at the spirit of a living god i'm about to open you up say of the lord and you are going to go within short span of years you will be everywhere there will be a sudden demand for this assignment across the nations of the earth the lord said you've been weary and you've been almost like feeling down because you've been asking yourself lord with all i've been pushing into this it's not growing as i want and the lord said because your season had not yet come for in this hour said the lord the lord said i should tell you this is the beginning of a 10-year period dur during which you will just begin to notice growth with ease growth with ease expansion with ease you will begin to go to nations with ease women are gathering in clusters and they are calling for you and they are saying we've heard about you we want you to be our deborah covering we want you to be a mother to us these will begin to increase over the next decade say the spirit of a living god glory be to god almighty hallelujah we give him the glory there's going to be sudden advancement someone is going to start succeeding powerfully like never before you're going to start succeeding like never before you failed and failed and failed 
who am I talking to? If you are the one, just simply say, Reverend Sam, I'm the one. You've, you've, you've just had series of failures. You've attempted things. You thought you gave your best, but the results just came to prove otherwise. And, and, and it's not because you're not smart. You just can't explain what has been working against you. But in this season say of the lord you are going from failure to failure you are going to from to success to success it's going to be series of successes series of successes and you will begin to succeed until you become successful i see someone saying reverend sam i'm the one emily in the name of jesus is a new season in your life amina it's a new season in your life i, I see uh, a mush mushma or something like that that's your name i see all of you saying i'm the one in the name of jesus the the pattern of failure is broken the pattern of failure is broken from now onward you will go from success to success man far you will go from success to success in the name of jesus christ doreen will go from success to success glory be to god almighty Father, we thank you. It's your season to flourish. It's your season to flourish. And one of the major reasons or reasons why individuals don't flourish. Oh my goodness. If you have your goals in your hands, will you raise them up? I just sense an anointing to pray right now. Every, every pattern of failure that has trailed everyone whose request, whose, pro, whose goal is here everyone under the sound of my voice your, your goals are here and, and you've had patterns of repeated failures in the past and the lord said as i lay my hands on these goals and i use them as part of contact to the rest that are on this on this altar here i decree that the pattern of failure is now permanently broken you will begin to succeed and keep succeeding until you become successful a new order is upon your life a new mantle is upon your life place your hand on your head a new mantle is upon your head you will begin to succeed and continue to succeed until you become successful in the, in in accordance with the ordinances of scripture let it be so upon your life from today the pattern of failure is forever broken in jesus name Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Sheranande sikita. Antele kuziate. Perpele subande diata. I'm hearing the name Rita, and the Lord said, I have opened the door. Rita, I don't uh, you've had testimony. People say, when Reverend Sam called my name and said to me, This is what God did. I just heard the name in my spirit, Rita. That's the name I heard in my spirit. Rita. And I think I saw a Rita A. Rita A. There is something that has to do. Uh, Rita A. That is the, that's, that, that's what's coming to my spirit. And the Lord is saying, I have opened the door. I have opened. Michelle is coming to my spirit. Michelle is coming to my spirit. And, and I just saw a finger, like just a finger turning some, like, like liquid. Uh, and, and the Lord is saying to me, Michelle, you've entered the season of a turnaround michelle you've entered the season of a turnaround for i the lord your god i am turning things around in your favor saith the spirit of a living god this is your season for a turnaround glory be to god almighty father we thank you oh glory be to god glory be to god almighty ah now listen to me i'm hearing clearly in my spirit one of the major reasons why people have not been flourishing before is because of negative mindset who am i praying for negative view of yourself you can't tell why as beautiful as you are as handsome as you are as educated exposed and as endowed as you are there is just something that fights you on the inside and makes you feel that you are not good enough you have a negative view of yourself you have a negative view of the future who am i talking to you have a negative view of your potential when people say come you can be a leader not me 
There's something that always makes you immediately to go on the negative when you are given opportunity. I can speak. Moses, come and lead my people. Oh Lord, I can speak. Gideon, come and lead my people. No, I'm from a poor family. Nobody knows me. I'm not good enough. But you're a mighty man. The angel of the Lord said, thou mighty man of valor. And he said, who are you talking about? It, it can't be me because I come from the smallest family. I come from the smallest clan. I am the smallest in my family. There is a smallness mentality that fights me. Who am I talking to? I see all of you say, Reverend Sam, that is, I'm the one you're talking to. Kala, it's a new season for you. Bukola, it's a new season for you. Kumoyo, it's a new season for you. Everyone saying, I'm the one in the name of Jesus. Dorinda, it's a new season. Aristide, it. it's a new season for you. Patience, it's a new season. Karina, I break the hold of smallness and negative mind uh, mindedness i break that spell over you begin to see yourself as god sees you in the name of jesus everyone battling with low self-esteem low self-image a constant feeling of self-doubt i'm not good enough imposter syndrome uh, oh, in the name of jesus always see yourself incapable always see yourself as less always see with, with all that god is doing in your life with the position you are in with the achievement you've had you can't see all of that the devil just focus on that little dot that little dot on your white dress i don't know if anybody understand what i'm talking about have you ever had a white dress and you had a little oil stain oh all of a sudden your eyes forgets about all the other parts of the dress and your eyes just focus on this little dot and it's as if the entire dress is a little dot and that's what the devil is doing to so someone right now with, with, with the beautiful family you have the lovely children you have you can't see that with the position God has put you in you still can't see anything with, with the favor God has placed on your life you can't see that with the money God has placed on given to you you can't see that there is this little dot there's this little aspect of your life that should be dealt with with gratitude but the devil can make you approach it with gratitude because the devil makes you feel the little that is yet to be done is everything in your life undone. So the devil makes you feel this little area of your life, this aspect of your life that needs to be specially attended to with gratitude, looking at all that God has done the devil makes you believe that God has done nothing and the whole of your life is the little thing that is yet to be done that devil is a liar that devil is a liar I see Sally saying Reverend Sam you are talking to me I see everyone saying Reverend Sam it's me you are talking to Junior said I'm the one you are talking to every spirit of poor self image negative self image negative self worth today the Lord put that to a rest I want you to know that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are the apple of his eyes. You are his beloved. I want you to remember that he has seated, seated you in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. I want you to know that he knows the thoughts that is thinking towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future that you hope for. I want you to know that he has not forgotten you. He has written you in the palm of his hands. Your words are continually before him. You are the object of God's obsession. God is so mindful of you. The reason you are still alive is because God is not done with you. You are a project in God's hand. It said the vessel was squashed in the hand of the porter and he made it again into something better. Your worst moments are in God's hands and he's making the best out of it. You were broken and battered by men, but your fragments are in God's hands. God is about to use the broken fragments that is left of your life. God is about to use it to make something that will dazzle and baffle everybody. God is so committed to you that he sent his own son to come die for you. 
you are worth the son of God. You didn't hear what I said to you. You are worth the son of God. That when God thought about the entire world and what God can give to you for you, God thought of nothing else. Not a billion dollars. Not six billion dollars. You're worth more than that. Not a mansion in California. Not a beautiful mansion on the highlands. No, 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 no. God did not even think about aircrafts and a private jets. They were worth less your value. When God thought about you and said, what can I give in exchange for who you are? The only thing equal to and better than, a little bit better than, is the son of God himself. God gave his son for you. That is to let you know how much you are worth in the sight of God. Someone made you to believe that you are worth less. I want to let you know you are worth much more. What you can't afford is not a true measure of your worth. It's a matter of time. What you can't buy is not a definition of your worth. It is just a matter of time. Where you don't live in is not a measure of your worth. It is a matter of time and chance. And trust me, God is about to turn it all around in your favor. You are worth the son of God. When God looked at everything and said, look, what is equivalent to this woman? What do I give to her? So let me say this. The dowry your husband paid is not your true value. What your boyfriend did before he eventually married you does not truly communicate the value that God has placed on your life. You are worth more than anything anybody can ever conceive. Whosoever has told you that you are good for nothing actually is limited in his thinking or her thinking because they lack what we call full comprehension of the glory that is locked up on the inside of you. The time has come to take your minds away from the words of men. Your meditation on the words of men and on the little aspects of your life that are yet to be properly put in place. Your over obsession with the words of men and the weaknesses of your life is blinding you from seeing your true worth in God. You are more than this. You are more than this. Your salary does not define you. It just defines what they judge you can offer at a particular time. Not who you are. That's what an organization feels that your skill set can offer. But you are greater than your skill set. So that organization doesn't have a true definition of who you are. It is dangerous for Potiphar to think that Joseph is only worth a house help. Only time will come to reveal that who you thought was only good for us and house help is actually going to be your leader in the nation. It is dangerous for you to look at Esther and consider her to be a little orphan girl eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not entered into the hearts of men what god truly has in store for you oh me shivari dadia would you lift your hands and say thank you father i'm more than this i am more than this jesus will not send the holy ghost if you are good for nothing have you thought about the fact that everything God sends to you, the very best of their kinds? When God was going to think of who to come to rescue you, he sent his best, his son. When he was thinking of who will be there to be comforting you, he sent again the best of the Trinity. He sent the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, it is better that I go so that the Holy Ghost can come. Meaning the one coming is better. If Jesus was considered the best, he said, I'm sending someone better. Isn't it amazing to know that everything that heaven has to do for you has to do with the best. Everything heaven is considering uh, concerning you has to do with the best. And you are the only one that considers yourself the least. 
I see all of you saying I'm more than this. Oh, we take authority over every spirit of low self-worth. Negative mindedness hinders people from seeing a flourishing and a thriving life that God had prepared for all of us. You cannot flourish and thrive in life with a negative mindset. Kings, potential kings, they die as paupers because of negative mindset. Women who are destined to be queens, they die as paupers because they have a negative mindset. It is not the absence of a great destiny that makes great people die ordinary. It is the presence of a poor mindset a negative mindset i'm going to say that again it is not the absence of a great destiny that makes potential great people to die as ordinary people it is the presence of a negative mindset individuals with ministries that could have shaken the nations have died in a little corner not because that is how god wants it but because of a negative mindset that cornered you to a place and told you this is how far you can go. A negative mindset told you you are not good enough. You can't talk. Shut up. Don't speak. Where you should have spoken and the world should have heard you and the world would have been changed by you. The negative mindset that prevails tells you you're not good enough. Shut your mouth up. Where you should have changed the world with your words, your mouth was shut because of a negative conversation going on on the inside of you telling you you're not good enough. Who will listen to you? Oh, hallelujah. I hear someone saying, I'm stepping out. I can't be shut in. I'm breaking out of this thing. I'm break I see someone saying, I'm breaking out of this thing. The devil is a liar. The time has come for you to travel for the first time. Attend events. You're supposed to attend events where your life will have been changed. You're supposed to meet with people that would have changed your life. But there's a negative mindset that always tells you that you don't qualify to be in such gatherings. A negative mindset. Internal conversation. That makes you to see yourself less. And the same negative mindset makes you to begin to compare yourself with others internally. Externally, you look confident. Externally, it looks like everything is together. But internally, there is this thing that tells you, look, you're not, any, you're not up to them. And then there's something that always says you excuse yourself. And that's how you've excused yourself out of everything in life. Where you should be seated, there's a voice that tells you, you know, who needs you here? Excuse yourself. Where you should be standing, excuse yourself. Where you should be having interaction. Excuse yourself. You've excused yourself. Through negative interaction and conversation within yourself. You've excused yourself from every possible place where life wants to reward you. You've excused yourself. But the devil is a liar. Because the time has come. You are showing up again. Your time to thrive has come. I hear someone said I'm breaking out today. I hear someone say, because this is your year to flourish. Reverend Sam, I've been anointed. Men of God have prophesied on my life. Men of God have spoken. I don't know why things are not happening. I'm not flourishing. But they told me I'm flourishing. They told us it's our year to flourish. You, you, listen to me. Listen. Look at me, everybody. You don't want to miss what I'm about to tell you. The Bible says, and Saul was anointed by Samuel to be king. And on the day he was to be made king, the Bible says he went into hiding. Low self-esteem. On the day he was to be seated on the throne, something told him he are not good enough. He went into hiding. That is how terrible a low self-esteem is. 
That's how terrible it is. And that is the devastation it can cause. That a man has been anointed already to be a king. And on the day he was to be presented as a king, the Bible says he went into hiding because he felt he was not deserving. He felt he does not qualify for it. He excused himself. He excused himself. Isn't that what has been happening to you? You are anointed by God. God from your mother's womb you've been anointed separated you've been called to be a prophetic voice but you hide it I'm not good enough I can speak you, you're watching me right now the prophetic is bubbling on the inside of you you are like a trapped magma there, 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 there are magmatic there are magmatic Precious on the inside of you. Magmas. Superheated prophetic words are stored up on the inside of you. Words that can change nations. Words that can change families. You carry a very strong prophetic anointing. But you will never open your mouth to speak. This year you will flourish. You will thrive. I hold your goals in my hands. The boldness you need to step into the place where this goal should be accomplished. Receive the boldness, the wisdom you need, the courage you need, the favor you need, the connection you need to go where this goal should be accomplished. Receive such grace in the name of Jesus. Fear lose its control. Fear lose its control. Low self-image lose its control. Low self-esteem lose loses control poor self-view lose control over you in the name of jesus negative mindset negative uh, self-views we take authority over you right now i lose you and let you go woman you are loose i speak to the man that is watching me sir you are loose to take your place rise to a great height in jesus mighty name amen and amen every sick person on that the sound of my voice you are healed supernaturally right now the power of god take away that sickness from your body ah palpitation leaves your body right now pain leave your body right now every kind of pain leave your body right now in the name of jesus christ somebody needs to quickly step up now and begin to do something you couldn't do before in jesus mighty name amen and amen has it been a blessing to you today I'm sure you've been blessed. Write us and let us know today. Do a video, do an audio. Tell us what God did when the ministration was going on. We always want to hear from you and God always wants to hear from you. You cannot be public with receiving the blessing and be private in sharing what he has done. You will always need God and grateful people who testify always get God to bless them again and again. I'd like you to go ahead right now, take advantage of the details on the screen to send your testimony today. Let us hear what God has done for you. Have you been blessed today? Oh, I see someone saying I'm breaking out today. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I see people saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You will not die in obscurity. Oh, you will not die in that little corner. Oh, God is bringing you out to the place where you belong. In the name of Jesus, you will not die in obscurity. Don't you think your friends need to be here tomorrow? Can I ask you to just do one thing today? Would you please consider inviting just one person? Just one. Tell that one person to join you tomorrow. Send this link to them. And then tomorrow when you are joining bright and early, you want to make sure that you call them. Are you online? Follow up with them. The devil has been having a good time destroying their mindset and their self-image. Some of them are on drugs already. Some of them are on alcohol already. Some of them are on very terrible coping mechanisms just to deal with the pain that they feel on the inside. If only they will hear things like this and the Spirit of God will touch them. Their lives will be better. But how shall they hear without someone coming to tell them? You want to reach out. Look around you. There's somebody who needs to be a part of what we're hearing today. May God honor you and bless you. As you go beyond thinking about yourself. To inviting someone tomorrow.
I love you. I'll see you again tomorrow. We can go on and on. Bye bye.